Mona Hustle Show, L'Oreal Head Crack, and we got our girl, I Am Legally Hype. She is always letting us know what's going down with Belita Hype, as we know. And, uh, you know, you're going to break down some things for us because a lot of things been happening this weekend that's been crazy in the news. First, we have to talk about history that's being made, and that's with Judge Katanji Brown Jackson. This is such a big, epic moment. I know you're excited about this. Now, the Senate confirmation hearings are going down. What, what can you explain to the people and tell us like about this and what we need to know? Okay, so boom, it's going down in a major way in the Senate right now. So first of all, our great, honorable auntie Katanji Brown Jackson is getting hazed up in the Senate, okay? They are asking her everything about everything, going all the way back to her middle school transcripts at this point, trying to find a way. The thing about it, though, is auntie good. She handled it, handling <laughs> it, holding it down like a real one, right? They can't break her. Mm. So that's the good thing. And the thing about it is we got enough Democrats, as long as they stay strong, we got enough Democrats to vote her in. So whatever other lollygag, rah-rah stuff is going on with the rest of them folks over there that feel some type of way about her, mm -hmm. it's not going to prosper. But I think this is an amazing opportunity in particular because she is highlighting the reality of what Black women go through in America every day. That's right. Okay. This is not the first time we've seen this, so. I don't, not to throw no, because, uh, you know, we want her to win and all that, that good stuff. We want her to get up in there. But it, did you know that her husband was white? I didn't know until I watched some of the Okay, I do, I, do, <laughs> first, I, do, I did know her husband was white. But peep this, though. This is what you got to realize. You got to mm. think. Auntie went to Ivy League schools, okay? Mm. I don't even go to an Ivy League school. I go to a good school, but it's not an <laughs> Ivy League school. Your options of brothers is slim to none. Okay, That's true. so people she went to Harvard. Some type right? of way, went to Harvard for oh. undergrad and law school. Woo! So people feel some type of way about her having a, a white husband, but I'm like, where do you think her pickings was coming from? <laughs> it was probably like a, two black people on campus, her and the other person. <laughs> and they was so related. Had, and they was related, right? So she had to do what she had to do. But you know what? Her husband is so cool because he was over there crying for her on day one. Him. You know, her kids is cute. He yeah. holding it down for her. So, oh, well, happy for her. I know. That's right. And But we're going to keep it moving and talk about Deshaun Watson. Now, he has gotten signed to the biggest guaranteed contract in the NFL, despite having all these sexual allegations against him. You know, they said he uh, he got these hands that he likes to touch all on him because he likes the masseuse and he likes to make little advances at them while he's getting massaged, allegedly, right? Yeah. So uh, despite all that, he was uh, traded from the Texans on over to the Browns, Cleveland Browns. Shout out to everybody out there in Cleveland. Now, how was he able to do this? Because he did get, what was it, 22 women? He got off mm -hmm. from the 22 women, but then what happened moving forward that those just went away? Okay, so boom, this was really going down. So what happened is there are 22 allegations, 22 women alleging sexual assault or sexual misconduct in his case right now. And so what happened was, I think early 2021, um, the prosecutor took his case to the grand jury. So the grand jury, it's a private hearing. And you have about 16 to 23 people that come together in private. It's no defense. Um, the defendant is not there. It's just the prosecutor get to say, hey, this is the evidence I got. Are y'all cool with me taking him to court and charging him with this? And the grand jury, they go in, in private. So even the prosecutor don't know what's going on. They mm -hmm. go in private. They have a meeting. At least 12 of those 16 to 23 people have to say, yeah, you know what? He probably need to go see the, the jury about this. He probably <laughs> need to go to court. Let's see. You know, it, it's not sounding right to me. But that didn't happen. They was like, nope. We, we, we don't see no criminal charges. Mm. So criminally, he was left let, let off the hook. Excuse me. You only get one bite at the apple. So they let him go. They didn't have enough evidence. However, he has these civil cases. So the thing with a civil case is that basically you're saying like, you did something to me. You violated me. And maybe you can't go to jail for it, but you need to give me something for that violation. Mm. And the standard is lower, right? So if you go to court on a civil case, you anybody could file a civil case. I could be like, girl, I don't like how you looked at me yesterday. I feel like that's a violation of, of my day. So you know what? I'm going to go to court. <laughs> Right. And I'm, I'm going to bring this case forward. So you can crazy. file a civil case all you want to. Right. The thing about it is the standard is lower when you get to a jury. So you have to prove that at least, well, you have to prove that it's at least 
more than 50% true what I'm telling you, basically. Mm. So even if it's 50.01%, right, then that's how a defendant can lose a civil case. So right now what's pending is the, these alleged accusers, right, we'll say, mm-hmm. alleged accusers, they're saying, like, nah, he violated me and I still, I need some for, I need some money, I need something, <laughs> like, what's good, right? right? And so that's the issue going on right now because it's, nobody really knows the evidence that they have. Apparently the NFL did an investigation, but this is why we have to be careful about trying cases in the public law or the public court of opinion. Because if you don't know the law, then you don't know what's really going on. He got 22 sexual allegations. Some people are just saying, oh, he kissed me and I didn't like it. Some Mm. people are saying he forced me to have, you know, intercourse with him. I didn't like it. Some people are just like, oh, well, he told me to touch him right here. And I didn't like it. Right? That's cool. You can have those allegations if you feel violated. But that does not mean that he's legally liable unless you can put forth the evidence. So it's a lot of wishy-washy stuff going on because some articles are saying that um, the NFL, they talk to some of the victims and they talk to the lawyer. Some articles saying the lawyer, like, he, they didn't talk to me, but mm. we don't know what's going on. It's so a lot of capping of going on. It, it's a lot of capping going on. So we don't really know what the real deal is, but it was enough for the NFL to say, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to give you this 200 or something million, right? But you're going to get at least a million of that this year. Period. So and we uh, can't touch it. So they didn't do nothing wrong in that situation. Them signing him is just he's he's innocent right now. He, he innocent until proven guilty. That is the way our system works. Like we may not like it. We may think like, oh, he is raggedy. Twenty two. <laughs> where do you find twenty two masseuse from? I'm trying to find one. My back is tight. Help me out. Right. Send one. Right. I know. That's like but one of the it, hardest things to find. It really is. It's, it's not a lot of good ones out no more. They do. They get real lazy with the I deep know. tissue. But Girl, I had one the other day. She was talking to me the whole time. I'm like, how I'm supposed to relax? Okay, Mm-mm. so um, speaking of relax, this girl will not be relaxing anytime soon. A 21 year old Pennsylvania woman. She has been arrested for a fatal car crash that left two state troopers and a pedestrian dead. Now uh, she has been charged with third degree murder, homicide by vehicle, manslaughter, driving under the influence a few other things and uh the officers actually pulled her over and let her go because they got another call and the call was that the pedestrian was on the highway they said these guys bodies were on the complete opposite side of the highway she was going so fast um there was also tweets that came out after where she said she feels like she's the best drunk driver ever and that was just back in january and then she also bragged about speeding and getting let go right ahead of this whole horrible accident. Now, when it comes to this, obviously she didn't plan to murder these men or that's what we would assume, right? So what is she looking at as a 21 year old woman, 21 year old girl, what is she looking at facing right now? You got three people that's dead, first and foremost, and you tweeted out like a slow baby (laughs) that you are the best junk driver ever. Okay, the prosecution is going to use that tweet against her in court. Yeah. So although so now she's charged with third degree murder, which means like she didn't really intend intend to kill anyone, Mm -hmm. but she intended to do the reckless act, which is drinking and driving that led to the death of these three victims. She's looking at a long time. You got two police officers. And when I looked at her, she's a little chocolate. Yeah, she she is. She's and a brown them girl. The offices, they look. They they're very like white. Them. And I'm going to say know. this. One thing that I noticed, and you know the with the media is very tricky, and we got to pay attention. When they put the story out there, they initially didn't show her. So people were like, she's going to fry. Da, 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 go, Karen. You're going to. And then when the picture came out, they were like, oh, she she's a black girl. And mm-hmm. I think maybe because it was the two pictures of the officers, the two white officers, maybe everybody just assumed everybody was white. And I, I don't know what that was. And not to say that white should, should get longer, but we know that that's what happens. We get oh, yeah. we get the longer sentence. Even what, I mean, you got the death of two officers. So those are prosecuted like 
intensely, like right. fullest extent of the law. You got two civil servants, essentially, right, that are deceased now because of her actions. The thing about it is you tweeted about it. Let me tell y'all this, okay? I don't know. Y'all don't watch the first 48 Fatal Attraction. I don't know. Like, if y'all just chilling. But anything you put on the internet is free game. It's free yeah. game. And okay. even if it was before she did the, even if it was because that looked like premeditation almost, right? Because like you knew you was doing some reckless stuff, you intended to do that reckless stuff, and now look at the consequences of your reckless actions. And is there any way they could possibly flip it and say, well, she meant to run these men over? I mean, that's a stretch. Mm -hmm. It's a stretch because she didn't know them police officers. She right. got pulled over. I mean, it's one thing if she was playing Pac-Man and just went for him because she knew that's what she had to do. But it's a stretch, which is probably why they hit her with the third degree. Right. Because trying to show that she intended, like she didn't know them. So she, it's hard to pre-plan something like that. Okay. But it's the it's the social media stuff that's, that's going to hurt her real bad. So I, whatever deal she get, which is probably going to be looking like life, maybe mm -hmm. not LWAP, but she probably going to be looking Ooh. at a life sentence. Wow. Definitely. Well, Definitely. thank you. I am legally hype. Well, I just thank gave it you. away, but let them know where they can follow you. It, it, it don't hurt to hear it twice, right? It don't hurt to hear it twice. And you know me, I'm Trey Club Rock. I love it. So we can say it three times. I am legally hype. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. Check me out. Follow me. Believe the hype because we bringing it. I know that's right. Believe the hype. We always believe in the hype. Thank you so much for breaking everything down for us. You're amazing as always. And we're going to make some noise for Legally Hype. Hey. Let's do it. <laughs> we are the morning hustle.